8 Carby Snacks That Can Actually Help You Lose Weight If You're Trying To Lose Weight, You've Probably Shunned Carbs At Some Point Especially When It Comes To Snacks. But while refined carbs like goldfish crackers and pop-tarts can spike your blood sugar and derail your weight loss goals, your body actually needs healthy sources of carbohydrates, like whole grains, fruits, and veggies, to function. Here is no reason to fear carbs, says Isla Shapiro, RD, co-author of Should I Scoop Out My Bagel? They are high in fiber and extremely satisfying. Plus, if you exercise, you need carbs for energy to fuel your workouts. Banning carbs from your diet can actually set you up for weight loss failure in the long run. It is possible to cut out carbs entirely for a short period of time, says Shapiro. But eventually your body craves them, which causes you to overdo your portion size when you start eating them again. To keep your carb cravings from pushing you into a giant bowl of Cheetos, Try these 8 carby snacks that are actually good for weight loss. Cereal Ereal is filling and a great pre-workout snack if you're going to the gym, Shapiro says. Lot of people think of cereal as forbidden when it comes to weight loss, but you don't need to deprive yourself. Satiate your Saturday morning snack attack with a bowl of whole grain cereal and milk. To get this right, pass on the marshmallows and sugar-coated flakes. The ideal cereal has 3 grams of fiber or more, 8 grams sugar or less, and should register at 150 calories per serving, says Shapiro. That's about 100 calories for 3 quarters cups of cereal and 50 calories for a half cup of milk, she says. Popcorn at just 30 calories per cup, you could have 3 or 4 cups of popcorn as a snack and still reach your goals, Shapiro says. Plus, popcorn is high in fiber which makes it an appetite-suppressing snack, she says. Just steer clear of the butter-drenched, super-salty movie theater popcorn and pop your own kernels, says Shapiro. You can even get fancy by giving your homemade popcorn a spritz of olive oil and a dash of pink Himalayan salt, she says. Get closet to your weight loss goals with Women's Health's Body Clock Diet. For a different spin on the snack dietitians love, Try three cups of air-popped popcorn sprinkled with one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, says Allison Massey, R.D., Director of Diabetes Education at Mercy Medical Center in Baltimore, Maryland. Prinkling the popcorn with nutritional yeast flakes gives it a cheesy flavor without all the fat, says Massey. Plus it adds about 4 to 5 grams of protein per tablespoon. Green bananas Bananas sometimes get a bad rep for being so sugary and starchy but they can actually be a huge help when it comes to weight loss. Just get them before they're super ripe. Green bananas are high in resistant starch, which is digested much slower than refined starches or sugars, says Shapiro. It's packed with that good starch before it begins to ripen and become sugary. Resistant starch also increases satiety, which keeps you fuller longer, says Shapiro. Top an unripe nainer with a tablespoon of peanut butter for a filling snack. Roasted chickpeas Roasted chickpeas besides being crunchy, savory, and satisfying, chickpeas and other pulses, like beans, lentils, and dried peas, are packed with fiber-rich carbohydrates and protein, says Lissy Lakatos, RD, co-author of the Nutrition Twins Veggie Cure. Hey give you energy and keep you feeling full, so you won't end up at the vending machine an hour later says Lakatos. Plus, unlike other carby snacks like chips and crackers, roasted chickpeas are naturally low in calories without added sugar or fat. Baked potato with broccoli and cheese A baked potato with melted low-fat cheese and broccoli is the perfect mini meal to get you from lunch to dinner, says Lakatos. A 3.5-ounce potato is only 100 calories and is super satisfying thanks to its water and fiber content, she says. The combination of the fiber from the potato and broccoli plus the protein from the cheese extends the energy you get from the carbohydrates in the snack, says Lakatos. All of that fiber and protein also prevents your insulin from surging, so you don't feel like you need a pick-me-up right after you eat, she says. Trail mix mixing up a DIY trail mix using a handful of pistachios and whole grain cereal is an easy way to cure the afternoon munchies and keep them from coming back says Lakato Shames. Istikas are the skinny nut, she says. 
you can have 30 of them for just 100 calories, and they're a good source of fiber and protein to help that whole grain cereal stick with you longer. Fruit Popsicle His snack is light, but it satisfies your sweet tooth without many calories or sugar, says Diana Kai Castellanos, Ph.D., R.D., an assistant professor of nutrition and health at the University of Dayton. Just blend a half cup of water, a dozen strawberries, and one banana together. Then, pour the mixture into four molds and freeze. Granola Parfait Since it's rich in whole grain carbs and packs a punch of protein, a parfait is the ideal way to refuel your body after a long workout, says Jackie Nugent, RD, author of the All Natural Diabetes Cookbook and spokesperson for Kind Snacks. In a small cocktail glass, layer granola clusters with fresh or thawed frozen berries and a couple dollops of plain Greek yogurt, says Nugent. The combo of protein and fiber-rich carbs will keep you satisfied, which is beneficial for managing weight, she says. Her granola pick, kind healthy grain clusters 50 grams serving has 32 grams of energy boosting whole grains.